Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and it's time for another set of five Mac apps that are worth checking out for the month of July 2019. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Our first app is specific to those who have any of the MacBook Pros with Touch Bar, and so if that's not you, feel free to skip ahead to the next app. The app is called Pock, and what it does is take your dock and slap it on your Touch Bar. You can use it as you would your dock on your MacBook by tapping to open or switch to those apps that you have open, and you can even see and open files inside of folders that are also located in your dock. The widget is customizable by heading into the preferences to toggle on and off some of the specific settings, as well as customizing the toolbar to see the dock, now playing, status, and control center widgets, with more widgets hopefully coming in the near future. This widget is great because now I can finally hide my dock and never worry about needing to bring it back up again as I can just use this widget in my touch bar, making the touch bar a lot more useful to me in my opinion. These next few apps live in your menu bar but are super useful tools that can really help you get the most out of your Mac. And the first one is called OneSwitch. OneSwitch brings all of your powerful switches and settings in one place that would otherwise take a little bit of time accessing inside of different system preferences or different parts of macOS. There are also things that you really can't do in general, like hiding your desktop icons for a quick, clean look. You can quickly toggle on and off dark mode, keep your Mac from falling asleep, toggle the screensaver on manually, connect your AirPods with your Mac, which honestly seems to happen a lot faster in my opinion than actually going up into the Bluetooth settings and toggling it on that way. And there are also options for do not disturb, night shift, true tone, if your Mac supports those features. Some of these settings can even be scheduled. For example, you can set dark mode to automatically turn on and off with sunrise and sunset. And one of my personal favorites is the ability to schedule do not disturb for a set amount of time, all from your menu bar. One switch can help me with all of this and much more. Spot Menu is our next app, and it's a very simple app for Spotify users that want to see what's playing, skip tracks, navigate through songs, as well as get a view of the album artwork, all from your Mac's menu bar. If you pause the song, the text of the song that was currently playing actually disappears, which helps reduce the clutter of your menu bar, and of course will reappear when the song resumes. The app does what it needs to do perfectly, but if there is one fatal flaw in my opinion, it's that once you close Spotify, the app actually closes itself, and then when you reopen Spotify, Spot Menu actually needs to be manually opened and doesn't open automatically. I really wish this app would just kind of handle that in the background. Uh, it's possible that the app needs to be updated for new versions of macOS, and this feature might in fact exist on older versions, but for right now, if you're using macOS Mojave or later, that has been my current problem, but other than that, this app is perfect for Spotify users. Flotato is another interesting app that basically turns any website into a Mac app. It's pretty much like having a mini iPhone application for your Mac, but without needing to take up any real memory or storage on your computer. Or if you really want to boil it down, it's a way to not have a bajillion tabs open in Safari, which is also always hogging up all of your computer's RAM. The apps are designed to be small, fast, and lighter than the web native app counterparts. To make your own app, all you do is open up Flotato, select create your own and type in the website, and boom, instant application. Or you can choose from the list of curated apps already available for you. The apps automatically get saved to your applications folder and they can be opened at any time. I'm highly considering switching to this full time so that I never have to worry about web browsers like Chrome or Safari hogging up all the memory while having other applications open at the same time. There are some great bonus features like notification badges, pinning apps on top of Windows, and more. I highly recommend checking this one out as well. Finally, Microsoft released a Mac version of its popular app, Microsoft To Do, and so if you're a To Do user, you are probably super excited to get this app officially on your Mac. The app looks and operates just as you would expect with a list view of different categories or task lists like My Day, Important, Planned, and Custom Created Lists like the ones that I have here for future videos and upcoming house renovations. After you've created a task, you'll have even more options on the right like adding subtasks, adding the task to your current days, list of tasks, reminders, due dates, notes, file attachments, and more. 
It's a pretty basic to-do list app, but it works really well and integrates with the Microsoft ecosystem. I don't personally use this app a whole lot, but I know lots of people do, and they've been clamoring for a Mac version for years. And so if this is your PSA to go download the new Mac version, if you're a Microsoft to-do user. So that's been it for this month of the five interesting apps worth checking out for July, 2019. Let us know in the comment section down below any apps that you recommend we check out, and we might feature it in our next video. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.